what is going on you guys my name is rage and we are back today finally with the release here of black cat and earning her shards for the first time in her legendary event here so having said that guys uh we're going to be doing the full difficulty six unlock i have pre-selected some packs scourges already just because i think um these are relatively pretty stable and they give quite a few points in terms of what we're looking for as we push forward so uh, as you can see it's full difficulty six uh suggested gear levels 15 uh we definitely need to have this war abilities world at war just because all the war buffs are going to be active uh, i really like this brawl room blast one because all brawler characters especially for that brawler section um they're going to be gaining additional crit hit damage as well as blaster characters also having crit chance so obviously it's going to benefit the enemies as well but honestly every one of our characters are going to gain significant value I activated Sinister Symbiosis just because I think it's going to benefit them, but gives us an extra 10 points for City Villains gaining the Sinister Six trait, City Bio characters gaining Symbiote. So, yeah, there's just heads up there. On turn, healers, any healers that we have, we're also going to get a barrier. So this is going to obviously help out characters like my Cosmo that does have the Isolate Healer, but as well as any other enemies that have that as well. Summon characters gain 20% max HP, and uh, we also have the Cosmic Hero characters gaining the Nowhere trait. So... That's what we have for right now, guys, difficulty six. And like I said, uh, my team is quite a bit higher than most of this section. So we're going to be blowing through it. We'll just see how it is overall. Uh, there was a blog update as well, guys, if you haven't seen that um, these enemy previews here the scores are actually visually incorrect right now so they did comment on that which is huge because now we can actually uh, you know know for sure that this is obviously incorrect. And now let's get this party started. First and foremost, this node initially uh, can't actually use any actual team combination. So I already preset some. I think a good one would be Gamma, uh, just because they do get actually a big mix of the uh, the war buff. So we're going to start things off with that, see how they do. Um, my team is pretty significant, um, pretty sizable. But again, we're going to be running through this difficulty six just to see how the overall difficulty is. Um, and obviously uh, the run through. So yeah, let's see here. So up against a mix of defenders here, not too bad. And you can see our their power levels. Wow. Uh, actually quite a bit lower than what I expected. Um, don't know if actually this is uh, correct, to be honest. Here, let's go ahead and finish this up. Maybe maybe the uh, the setting that I hit actually didn't reflect that. But yeah, these guys are so weak actually right now in the playthrough. So I don't know if maybe maybe there's more to the uh, the issue than, than it being a visual thing. But we're going to clean up these carnages just because they're going to be getting speed up if any of our, our characters obviously get impacted by that. Okay, and then there is a Morgan Le Fay that could be problematic later on when we bring up the difficulties. But as you can see, uh, these guys are just, you know, really, really short work for us, especially given how um, squishy they are. And again, I like the fact that we're getting the additional increased damage here with the Brawler. But yeah, let's back out of here, guys, and take a look. Maybe I maybe I didn't tr uh, tick off the difficulty six, actually, when I started. But let's take a look. Yeah, that doesn't look correct right there. 72,000 points. Do the math right actually uh that is correct actually so if i go back here hmm. so it's uh it's actually more than just a visual bug guys i mean for the time being darn uh we're gonna be showcasing maybe these guys are just that weak i'm not sure here we'll do the next one uh with the nowhere team and again i already kind of preset the the placement of these so that way we can just rip through it but uh it could be the fact that they actually have to go through and maybe adjust their power levels then because right now uh it's a bug right now for sure Let's see here. Yeah, they're about 7,000. Oh, yeah. So this is not good, guys. This is not good at all. Yeah, so uh, it, it looks like it's more than just a visual issue, unfortunately. But uh, this is what's kind of captured on the gameplay. I'll just try to talk through it, guys. Uh, in this initial node, then we're going to be wanting to focus here on Morgan Le Fay. Or perhaps it's just the fact that their power levels are shown here, but they're actually like a higher difficulty. So I don't actually know how strong they are, but... Uh, we know that, you know, they don't seem to be 7,000 because they would be falling a lot faster. So in this node, then uh, we do want to probably save our abilities here with Nova, uh, especially with the Spider Weaver here. And again, we can one shot a lot of them, but you're going to see how devastating and scary uh, this uh, this crazy, crazy good Nowhere team is. So uh, the damage they're going to be doing and the fact that Thor... Yeah, like I said, I'm going to be saving his abilities most of the time, but uh, it's going to be really fun to see this in the higher difficulties. This Nowhere team is so broken um, with their war buffs. They're just a completely, you know, I, I can't wait to go into higher difficulties because we're going to push them to their limits. But for sure, I see that Spider Weaving, why, excuse me, Spider Weaver being an issue, uh, Gwenpool being an issue later on when we push up higher. Uh, it, I think it's going to be ultimately dependent on how 
far we bring our nowhere team to see how far we actually go with these uh with these ranking points so i guess like i guess i was wrong guys uh my apologies there i think the visual bug is not just the power level but as well even when the gameplay is starting and shows the wrong power level but thankfully like i said it doesn't seem like they're they're operating like at 13k because usually just be able to one shot all of them right so mystic villain i got this one prepped already in my video as well uh it, it's this combination right here very strong dormammu doom as well as uh the rest of the dark hole team uh they're gonna make short work of these nodes you can just see how fast i'm ripping through them uh but yeah i'll try to at least point out any of the the pain points in terms of what we can see for sure though um i'm gonna be making videos with higher difficulty so that way if you guys want to push higher as well but th this is keep in mind i'm activated the majority of these uh packs already too so um a big one's gonna be morgan Le Fay activating the ultimate here she's gonna likely set up the stage here for this wave if they are difficult um save the abilities if you can uh, but I, I like Morgan Le Fay because of the fact that she actually does have, you know, uh, some pretty decent cooldowns. And we're gonna not we're not gonna utilize uh, Dormammu too much in terms of the abilities. But you can see, wow, just look at how powerful these guys are. Doctor Doom is kind of the one we want to pay attention to because he can be used in all like a, a big chunk of all the nodes here. Uh, this Phoenix could be an issue later on just for scaling of damage. But you can see here, uh, I th I don't think Mystic Villains is gonna have an issue whatsoever. It's just so powerful. The synergy of Dark Code with Dormammu giving them a second chance, and as well as Doctor Doom having that ultimate and the three turns. This is going to absolutely be so fun when we go higher and higher and, and see the, the crafting here in terms of strategy. Global controller, uh, not too bad as well. I think this one's going to be kind of in the middle in terms of difficulty for me. Um, being, you know, it depends on what you have ultimately, but I like the fact that both Morgan Le Fay and Dr. Doom get to come back to these nodes after Mystic Villain. So something you might want to be mindful of when you're going through it. We got Omega Red with the crowd controlling aspect. Uh, and look at that. Right away, we start with these uh, debuffs on us. So if you're able to... I like how Morgan Le Fay did have the first turn here to actually rewind everything. And I think um, taking down Icarus is going to be a priority. I think that uh, the Silver Surfer is going to be an issue as well uh, once we start up in, in the higher difficulties. Same with Nico Monoro being able to flip everything. So if we can get an ability block, which I just did right there, uh, that's an opportune time. So this would be probably a good moment to activate uh, Dr. Doom's ultimate. Um, but I mean, uh, because these guys are weaker, I'm probably not going to do it for for just the the playthrough here because i do want to see wow okay so th this this one actually is dealing some decent damage at least so i'm glad i brought scarlet wish because i wasn't sure if i was going to need her but uh good thing we took out as well guys good thing we focused on that icarus because this uh this cersei that comes later on is going to be able to synergize with uh icarus obviously so now um at a good moment here there are some th significant damage dealers like the elsas that we do need to be mindful of and keep in mind my guys are a lot stronger than them but uh, look at how hard these guards are hitting actually so, so definitely something that we can see being problematic later on thankfully again morgan Le Fay ultimate i think she's gonna be very well a huge difference maker in and these nodes as we progress just because you can see right there uh, how much damage she can do just from her one ability so something to be mindful of guys we're gonna save abilities now here and just try to regen but again we have dr doom's ultimate ready to go uh, and going forward, he's going to be involved in four out of the 10 nodes. So that's really awesome to see uh, in terms of that synergy. And as well, like I said, having the ultimate ready to go. Scarlet Witch looks like she's going to fall uh, in one of the nodes eventually. So something to keep an eye out for. Maybe she's not the best option. But I just brought her in because, like I said, my Dark Hole team is already pretty well built up. And um, this is going to be able to push us through all the way, ideally. And I can't wait to use Nowhere, man. There's such a, there's such a fun team uh, in terms of what they bring to the table and their synergy, especially with the Warp Buffs. So once again, now going back to the full nowhere team. Oh, sorry. This uh, my apology, guys. This is the brawler team. This is the brawler for the first time that we see. So this is kind of what I've utilized here. Uh, I like the Miss Marvel combination with my hero brawlers because they're going to get assisted attacks. We got uh, Red Hulk previously from the node one that we use for Gamma because, like I said, they have the war buffs, which is nice. Uh, and then Shang Chi is going to do a lot of value here. So uh, we have um, we have uh, the Gamma the Gamma Red Hulk's ultimate right from the get go. So I think that's a I think that's honestly a good way to start this off, just because he's probably going to wipe out everybody. And and it also has an impacting battlefield effect. So assisted attacks, like I said, from Miss Marvel, which is absolutely huge. Val is also on this team as well, which makes it even star studded more than in, like the, unbelievable, right? Just unbelievable. Um, the reason why I brought in uh, Infinity War uh, Thor here is because of the fact that he can charge up his abilities, but as well, remember he keeps 
uh, the bus for war regardless if he uh, if, if he's with or without um, his fellow Nora team and he can also generate his abilities too which is huge uh, so I like that aspect here and again we just want to be focusing on some of these high value targets so uh, I think this one's definitely gonna be dangerous um, as we level up to the higher difficulties because we're up against this dark hole team with agatha and morgan Le Fay, and uh we're gonna probably need a shutdown crew as we did right there with val right um her ultimate is gonna be definitely a, a deal breaker for myself and um and, and definitely something to be mindful of as we're going through these nodes so far so good uh, with all those packs activated i'm surprised that even for difficulty six very very uh streamlined actually so that's awesome to see so we're just gonna go ahead here okay uh difficulty six yeah so right 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 back at it again guys we are going back here uh to the nowhere team so again you can use sinister six but i just wouldn't recommend it because uh it's very clear that these nodes were uh really designed to, to have um obviously at the end of the day to, to have nowhere actually be the ones that are going to be um ultimately getting through them with no issue so the value they have um i oh wow so i can for sure see this one being very problematic thankfully we have Obviously, the offense downs are coming from our, our passives. So uh, right from the get-go, I can see um, Nova activating the ultimate right away to blast everything in the beginning. Uh, and I love that value. Um, Mr. Negative definitely is giving an issue later on. So I would focus on him. But as well, keep in mind, there's a lot of damage dealers on this. No, so even, especially Taskmaster later on. Uh, just something to be mindful of, right? But for sure... Uh, we just got to be mindful of these targets and getting them out of the way. And like I said, I'm lucky that these guys are just super overpowered right now because of the fact that this is just so much um, weaker than our team. But you can just see the scaling difference, right? All of them having so much damage. And, and again, we have most of them activated on difficulty six. So uh, difficulty eight is going to be really fun to go through. I'm curious that if I can even push higher than that. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. We might even be able to activate the majority of the packs um, just because you can see how we're just ripping through it. Nowhere's not even um, moving whatsoever. They're just doing so good. So back to Mystic Villain here, guys. Um, this is a team that we already previously used. And I, I don't like how it doesn't save the order that I put them in, actually, just because of their synergy there. There we go. But yeah, super, super straightforward, guys. Uh, difficulty 6, not too bad. Like I said, it's it's kind of unfair because I have all these, like, uh, these characters that I have right now in my roster are overtuned. But we can kind of at least get a sense of the strategy. Pain points in this one, Quicksilver, Silver Surfer, and Emma Frost. They're definitely giving me issues. Um, you can see, even with our team right now being uh, tuned higher, they're going to have the turn advantage on us. So another one to be mindful of is that this Minerva is going to revive the first character that we take down. I definitely think um, Quicksilver is going to be one of the ones we have to take down right away. So ideally, because Quicksilver went down, we want to finish off uh, this Minerva. So we're going to activate Dr. Strange Heartless's ultimate. Ideally, it would be saved uh, from the previous node. Uh, and then Archangel probably would be a good target. And as you can see, wow, just making very, very uh, short work. I'm going to go activate the basic. I don't think I actually need to use Dormammu's abilities just because uh, my team is just so strong. We're able to one-shot, two-shot most of these guys. Boom, boom, boom. So easy, easy, easy. Um, and like I said, uh, it's super unfair right now. But I, I think what also helps is the fact that we activate a lot of those buffs. And they're, you know, they're doing more damage, especially when we saw with the Brawler stages. Uh, and keep in mind, you know, Star-Lord Annihilation and Thor are both Brawlers too. So they got that value as well, those benefits. Global Controller. So this is the second and final Global Controller stages here. We'll go back to our default team. And maybe maybe I'll switch things up here. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use... I, 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 I think Magneto is a good one too to, as a slotting character just because we're going to be using him uh, even for one turn. Um, perhaps there are some characters that we're up against to have the speed advantage. Well, by doing so, Magneto can at least provide, uh, I think, a one-turn push uh, cushion here. So right from the get-go, we do see that we're up against a pretty devastating combination here. I can see this being problematic later on. Uh, so thankfully, uh, we do actually have the speed up with Black Widow. This is going to help for our team. Uh, but Morgan Le Fay once again getting her special so that way she gets the advantage there what I'm hoping for now is uh, Magneto to take the ultimate and look at that wow look at look how hard these guys hit even with them being lower so definitely see uh, this one having pain points later on we're gonna stun finish off Red Hulk and as well I think um yeah I, I don't know I'm still saving up the Doctor Doom ultimate there's only one more node left so I'm you know I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna save it for the very end and see how we do and we did come all the way with Magneto's ultimate so why the heck not let's just go ahead and use that because this is the last time we get to use Omega Red we can go ahead and use his abilities just to finish them off so this one I can see being an issue for sure because we saw right from the get-go even with us being higher how much damage they did so something to be mindful of difficulty six can still hit quite hard even with our tunes being um significantly significantly higher 
doing really, really good. 580,000 points, looking really good, guys. So uh, again, we're gonna get the full uh, three yellow star unlock from the moment we're done this. So Brawler, this is the last one here for Brawler. And then it's gonna be uh, ending up here with obviously the Nowhere team. So again, um, I, I think um, I think my Thor's abilities were actually leveled up uh, and, and ready to go here. So I'm gonna bring in Star Lord actually just to switch things up a bit. Uh, we have Val's uh, ultimate ability and we have Red Hulk again too. So this one's gonna be good. I love the amount of characters that we can use uh, uh, consistently through this so you don't need to build as many teams and look at that because we brought in a uh, star Lord annihilation the offense down at the star of a turn is pretty big um from the get-go i think a big target that we have to aim for is that left side because captain carter's there to revive and there was also um you know this interesting mix here of the invaders with uh, rebirth but now that we've taken them down um it's just the the, the weaker side here that we just got to clean up on and yeah making sure it works so this one actually seems very very straightforward Shang Chi's ultimate is going to be finally landed, reducing the turn meter, but as well doing as much damage as we can. Um, be mindful of these Iron Fists because they can actually revive their fallen allies. So just something to be mindful of. And then finally, these last five here, uh, making up a, a mixture here of the Young Avengers with a random a Viv Vision and as well as uh, Scarlet Spider. So go ahead there, easy, easy cleanup. Um, and we thankfully didn't actually use any of star lord's ability so uh really really good he's gonna be in a good position i love the fact that he lands that offense down that's something good to know um you know maybe i should have used him earlier in place of thor but uh it, it's nice if you just need that passive uh it's it's almost like an instant defense up mechanism right so doing really good guys uh we're gonna wrap things up here finally with the nor team and again guys i cannot understate this enough i think uh, how far we get in this event is really going to be dependent on how high our nowhere team really is because they're just on another level. I mean, they're like 700k for myself, but they're operating at like a 1, a 1 million, 1.2 million plus mark. So from the get go, I think the first character really makes sense. We got to take down the Nova uh, because he's going to get his abilities off early anyways, but focusing on him is probably a big, big uh, difference maker here so we're finally using our abilities we uh, saved them up from the previous notes but we got cosmo giving the energy which is huge uh giving us also the barrier and now we are actually going to target um this nova because we want to take him down asap and we know he can do a lot of damage so that's why uh he's gonna be a focus especially activating the uh, uh, the ultimate there with the battlefield uh, something for us to be mindful of for sure so we're gonna keep targeting him Ideally, we want to see if we can get our chain attacks. And again, oh my goodness, these guys just hit so hard. Love the flip with the special. Nova goes down, and now we can focus on the rest of the... That, I think another big one then would have to be Gambit, just because of his passive attacks, his heal block. It's going to hit us for sure. And that's okay. Uh, we want him to target Korg as much as possible. But my goodness, I love how much damage this new Thor and uh, Star-Lord does. Like this synergy on this team... On a, on, statistically, Nowhere is right now one of the best teams in the game, especially when you put them in war. And, and like I said, the fact that we we can actually use them, kind of similar to what we saw with Cosmic Crucible uh, bus being activated in, um, originally in the Nova Trial. So I think Kang's another good one. Once you're taking down those enemies, I think Kang is obviously the go-to target um, be, with his damage and output. He's something to be mindful of. Black Bolt's all right. You know, he, he still needs a lot of love. I think Inhumans in the future could use a big rework, but... Uh, this is an interesting note because of the three Cosmos doing a lot of supportive capabilities. But again, don't distract that from obviously here being the pain point of Kang. Minerva is one we got to worry about, but thankfully uh, Nebula was the one that we took down initially. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to focus on this cluster here. I love the AoE damage that star -Lord can do. Super, super big. I'm debating between him right now and... Uh, in um, Infinity War Thor for Dark Dimension 6 as, uh, you know, planning through the Dark Dimension 6. Uh, I think those two characters are going to have a lot of value. And I like the fact that, you know, they're part of the meta, right? So we're not going to be wasting um, dividends on them, especially with them having value for the foreseeable future with the recent war buffs as well. Looking really good. So yeah, ideally, if you're left with this point with the Cosmos and Nebula, uh, not going to have an issue whatsoever. And just look at how much damage we're dealing, guys. Even with the basic abilities, absolutely huge. So um, this is going to be super, super fun to go into the higher difficulties. Finally, get a chance to use Nova's ultimate to give us some buffs, but obviously some barrier. And that's that's what he's known for. Uh, this team is just so powerful. Look at the damage they can do. And again, guys, um, I'll keep you up to date as I go higher and higher. But we got the full unlock right here. Uh, so difficulty six, full gameplay. Sorry for the lack, uh, the confusion in the beginning here, guys. I, I guess that blog post was really detailing not just uh, not just the visuals in terms of of uh, the preview, but as well the actual in-game 
playthrough because each of them actually had the wrong power levels, but they were operating definitely at a higher level. So I can't tell you how high they were, but 730K is kind of what we ended up with right now based on that. And we hit rewards now. Um, I believe it was 550 would be the instant unlock for three stars. So we go ahead, we hit claim all. We are going to be un unlocking uh, Black Cat right away here. Super, super exciting. So finally join us in the game. You bet I'm going to be bringing her to Dark Dimension 6. So I'll keep you guys up to date. But yeah, good luck in your guys' unlock. Good luck in your Dark Dimension 6 playthrough. Uh, if you guys are also doing that as well. But I mean, uh, this is huge right here with this event. I... I uh, cannot wait to use her in Dark Dimension 6, hence my excitement. But yeah, obviously really, really big, guys. Uh, good luck in your guys' uh, packed event as well. Keep me posted if this works for you guys. But for sure, I'll be making more videos in regards to the higher difficulties. Thank you, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.